The reason why it is so important to invest in young people's um, in, in health services for young people is first of all their needs are very great, they are very vulnerable, and the consequences of not providing those services is very costly. Uh, to begin with, uh, their their needs are great. They have high levels of of um, unwanted pregnancies, um, and when they do have an unwanted pregnancy. It's often a very risky pregnancy. The maternal mortality ratio for uh, women 15 to 19 is about twice as high as uh, women for 20, uh, ages 20 to 24, and about three times as uh, high as uh, for women under 15. Um, in addition, the potential impact or payoff is much greater. Imagine. Uh, uh, reaching a 17-year-old woman um, who uh, is in need, who is sexually active, in need of family planning services, and if you provide those services, uh, she's much more likely to continue using family planning throughout her lifetime. So you might have uh, 30 years of protection, for example, whereas if you wait until a woman is 39 and has had all the children she wants, and uh, or more than she wants, and uh, and you reach her. You, you, that is important in its own right, but you may have only 10 or, or fewer years of protection. So because of their vulnerability, because of the risk of, uh, and, and on, for maternal mortality, for unwanted pregnancy, and because of the program um, impact and payoff, I think it's really important for uh, programs to invest in young people's uh, health and, and education and all the other sort of social services they need.